Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. We are doing sterling silver today. Everything is sterling silver, unless I tell you something differently, but I don't think I will. Everything is sterling. Okay, so first of all, I have a giveaway from last week. It was this cute little elephant uh, tack pin, and Monica Simonson is the winner. Yay, Monica. I do have a Monica customer but I'm not sure if it's the same person. So Monica, shoot me an email. And um, if you've never bought anything before, let me know your address and I'll send it out to you. Um, here is my email. So if you want to buy anything, you can pause the video here and I'll tell you exactly what to do. And here is my email address. Okay. Tells you all the rules and regulations. <laughs> All right, let me set that to the side and we can start. I'm going to pull out a little pile. I should have done that already so that I don't have to reach into this bin and wreck my shoulder the whole time. Okay, I'm pulling a lot. Do you really think you'll get through that much? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's look. Okay, we have these gorgeous sterling earrings. Um... That might be some quartz there. Let's see. Let's see. No glass, you guys. It's glass. I mean, there we go. There we go. Okay. So I would say there's probably a little bit of scratching on the back of the glass or they might need to be cleaned. Okay. All right. So here we go. These are going to be $12. Um... This one is a braided chain, obviously sterling silver, and it's herringbone braids. It has an 18-inch total length. Here it is up close. Gorgeous. 18-inch total length on this one. I will do $20 on that one. Okay, that hurts. I'm in my new chair, but this is my first time doing jewelry in my new chair. And my arm gets wrecked on the, the headrest. Going to put the jewelry in the bin after. Oh, that really hurt. I wonder if that thing can come off. It's like ridiculously far forward. Okay, anyway, sorry, I'll stop complaining. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one, a little necklace with a leaf uh, pendant. Um, nice little Rolo chain. This one has an eight and a half inch drop on it and it's going to be $20. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yikes. 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 Alrighty. Next. Guys, can you hold on for one second? I think if I don't have the bin up higher, I put a, the next bin under the one I'm working on. And I think if I don't do that, I might not hurt my arm. It doesn't feel good already, and that's not good. We've only looked at three pieces of jewelry. Okay, we have this little station necklace. I love this style of necklace. Love, love, love. Eight and three quarter inch drop. Let's do $18 on that one. Oh, yeah, I'm not hitting. Thank you, guys. Okay, we have this one. Oh, this is so cute. It's kind of like a little Y necklace with a star and these two dangly stars. This is so cute. This one has a drop of eight inches. Let's go $20 on that one. $20, $20, please. Um, okay, how about something besides necklaces? Let's change it up a little bit, Julie, shall we? Okay, we have rose gold vermeil little heart studs. Those are so cute. Let's go uh, 10 bucks. Those are really, really cute. Um, what are these? Another pair of studs. Okay, what are these ones? Those are pretty too, a little pair of studs. They're like domed, have this little open work on it. Those are cute. Let's do um, 12 on those. Next. What are the, another studs? Holy cow, I've got like Stud City. Ooh, that sounds fun, right? Stud City. <laughs> All right, I have little CZ studs. Those are cute. Let's do $10 on those. I want to go to Stud City. How about you? 
All right, let's get something besides studs. And I pulled studs. Did I? No, I didn't. They're dangly. Okay, here we go. Um, they are post earrings, but they have a little dangle, and they are so cute. Um, let's see if that's amethyst. It is, you guys. So little cute amethyst and CZ earrings. Let's go 15 on those. Those are very, very pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. Please hold. I'm trying to put them in the bin. Having a little, a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're okay. Uh, what are these? We have some hoops. Hoopa hoopas. Hooplas. <laughs> Here they are. Those are nice. They have like that yellowing that Sterling sometimes gets. Let's do 12 on those. Okay, how about something else? What's this? Nah, I don't want that. Okay, I'm picking. Don't pick, Julie. Just do it. All right, I'm trying. We have this little size 7 ring with marcasites and probably CZs. That's pretty. It's a little swirl, like a little domed swirl. Okay, size 7. Let's go 30. Okay, $30 on that one. Next. Oh boy, my tummy just gave a big rumble like, hey, you never fed me. Oopsie. Well, truth, I forgot to eat breakfast, so I had to fluff a nutter at like 1030. <laughs> but I guess it's not keeping me. Okay, so this opens and you can change the speed. Right now it's a white cat's eye and it's on a box chain. Uh, the drop is... Nine inches, nine inch drop on that one. Let's go 20, $20 on that one. Next, size seven ring again. Ooh, this one's cute, it's a little dainty baby, I like it. It is dirty, 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 but it is very cute. And it is a blue topaz, you guys. That is a very light blue topaz that needs a cleaning. <laughs> How about 25 on that one? Okay. Uh, we have a size 8 adjustable ring. Let's see what we've got. Oh, it's like an adjustable kind of spoon ring going on. Let's go 20 bucks on that one. Sitting at an 8 right now, but it is adjustable. It's signed in there. I don't know what it's signed. Uh, what's this? We have an 18 inch total length, um, it's pretty, glass, and I'm not sure if those are glass or stone. There's a toggle closure. Mm, I want to test this one, guys. I just feel like I want to. I, it's been tested, but I feel like I want to test it again. So I'm done. Okay, so here we go. We have these little leaf hook earrings. Those are so pretty. Gorgeous. Let's go 15 on those. So guys, with all the wedding stuff and just life being crazy, I got so far behind on my laundry. I I was doing laundry, but I wasn't doing enough. And I also um, wasn't hanging it up. I was. We were kind of living out of laundry baskets. I think it happens to everybody, right? It does. Uh, these are really pretty pearl earrings. Gorgeous. Let's go 15 on those. They're posts. Um, so I literally just hung and folded laundry for two hours straight. And I gotta tell you, my back hurts. Everything hurts. It was a lot. <laughs> okay, we have this cute little ring. It's signed Mexico. Uh, this one is a size six and a quarter. Let's go 20 bucks. So I'm like, I have to finish. I have to be filming for you guys by 2 o'clock-ish. So I'm like, it was like 1.55 and I still had a little bit. So I finished at like 2.10. Ugh, it was a lot. This is cute. It's almost like a little ring on there. Okay, and it's on this chain. Super cute. Let's get a drop on this one. It is an 8.5 inch drop. Let's go 20 bucks on that one too. Next, 
Next, next, next. What have we got? All right, so we've got some Wicked Cheap Sterling. Remember I did that show with all the Wicked Cheap Sterling? Well, here's one of them. So this is White Gold Vermeil and CZ, and you have an infinity and a little heart, a little asymmetrical action. Uh, it, it has an extender on it. So this one has a drop of eight and a quarter inches plus a whole lot of extender that is really tangled. Hold on. A whole lot of extender, you guys. Uh, so for this one, let's go 10 bucks. 10 bucks, wicked cheap starling. I saw another one too. Maybe we'll do two in a row. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Wicked cheap starling. These are new, by the way, if you don't remember. They're from a company called Genie, I believe. Um, this one's cute. So this is also white gold vermeil and CZ and this little bar. It's a little dainty baby. This one has a drop of about eight and a half inches and an extender. Let's go 10 bucks on that one too. Okay. Next. Oh, this is fun. What's this? Okay, so we have this little fun section of chain, uh, and then it goes to a snake chain. That's cute. This has an 8-inch drop, you guys. Let's go 20 on that one. 20, 20, 20. I'm trying to think what else I have left to my day after all that laundry. Hope I can go zone out. That's what I hope. <laughs> Till you guys buy jewelry, then I gotta be on the ball. Uh, okay, so we have these guys. These are a rose gold vermeil and I think glass, but let's just try and see what that is. Yes, and glass, colored CZ. Those are pretty. Let's go 15. $15 on those, mm-hmm. Okay, I've got found another pocket of Wicked Cheap Sterling. Should we look at those quickly? Let's do those, are there any others? Uh, I don't see any others. Okay, so I have three. Let's do it. Dun -dun. Okay, rose gold vermeil cross necklace. Gorge. Look at that. So dainty, simple, pretty. I love it. Seven and a half inch drop plus a whole lot of extender. You got two spots on there. Okay, so that one will be 10 bucks. Next, remember we're looking for the Bryn picture in here to do a giveaway. Okay. Uh, hello. I can't get into it. Eek. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yellow gold vermeil and CZ necklace. Little circle. Okay, this one, including the entire extender, is... An eight and a half inch drop, and here's that brand name so you guys can see it. Okay, maybe jeans. I'm not I'm not sure. Okay, ten dollars on that one. Next. Oh, next we need a new bin. Hold on, friends. And I'm not as set up as usual because of the chair problem. I'm going to have Hubs look at that tonight, see if he can pull that headrest right off. Or I can look at it and do it. Either way. Either way. Chair makes a lot of noise. Okay, rose gold vermeil and an evil eye. This is fun. Look at that. Okay. CZ, this one is including the entire extender, has a nine and three quarter inch drop. And that one will be just $10. Okay. Oh, get in there, please. Okay, what is next? Oh, these are fun. We have some little, like, Tree of Life earrings. And they also have that, which I think... What is that? Is that glass? Hold on, let me look up close, please. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to hit it with the gem tester and see if it moves for the glass. Yeah, I think they're glass. Hmm, they're beautiful. Let's go 15 on those, please. Okay. 
Okay, this one is marked Fusion, which is F-Z-N, which is Fusion Creation International. It is C-Z and Verme. Okay, it could use a cleaning, and I think it was originally Rose Gold Verme, and it's a Singapore chain, okay? This one has a drop of eight inches. Super pretty. Let's go $20 on that one. That it is an oldie, meaning I've had it here for a while. <laughs> I can tell by the bag. Okay, what is this? Where are the bracelets? I haven't had any bracelets. Uh, I love you to the moon and back. It's cute on a little chain. This one has a 10 inch drop. Let's go 18. Okay, any bracelets? Oh, here's a bracelet. Oh, this matches the first necklace we saw. Or second, I don't know, doesn't matter. Uh, herringbone braided uh, chain. Uh, this is six and three quarter. Let's go uh, 12 on that. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can find other bracelets. If that was a bracelet, there might be others with it. Nope, don't see any. Okay, so we're gonna have some Wicked Cheap Sterling Rings coming up. Here we go. This is a size six and three quarter sterling and like a little rubber in there. This one's going to be 10 bucks. 10 bucks, I have a little pocket of sterling. Uh, Wicked Cheap Sterling Rings here, so let's get them. This one is a size seven and CZs. Okay, that one's gonna be $10 also. And this one is a rose gold verme and CZ, 10 bucks. Actually, I'll go eight on that one, $8. Okay, what are you? That one's not a wicked cheap. Neither is this one. Okay, did I have any more wicked cheap? Oh, this one is, okay. This one is a size seven and a half, little wavy guy, and they come down to a double band right there. Okay, that one is uh, $10. Okay. All right. How about these? These look fun. Some earrings for you. Hmm. Those are cool. So they look like CZ and something. Let's see if that reads as anything. This is going to be hard. This is going to be hard, you guys. There we go. It's reading on the glass line, okay? They're very, very pretty. I'm having a hard time showing you. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous. Uh, let's do 15 on those. Hopefully you saw them. That was terrible. Terrible presentation. Excuse me. Uh, we have some studs. Those are pretty. Okay, you think that's onyx? Let's see. Are you onyx, my friend? Let's see. Oh boy, I fell off. I fell off. Let's try again. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give it one more time and then we quit. Actually, hold on. So I think if I kind of hold the sides here. Glass, you guys. It looks black to me. I'm really tempted to cut my nails back tomorrow, you guys. You think I should? Tell me what you think. I think they get in the way. Um, well, I mean, they'll go back anyway by a little bit, but oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, sorry, sidetracked. Uh, 12, $12 on that one. Okay, I have a ring here. I believe this is jade, but we'll check it out. Okay, isn't that fun? Like an orange jade. Um, is it a true bypass? Let's see. No, not a bypass, you guys. It's coming in at a seven and three quarter. Okay, Mark Sterling. And let's see, I have a feeling this is Jade. Let's see. Interesting. I think this is Orange Onyx, you guys. That's where it's reading. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go 30 on that one. Is there orange onyx? I know there's red. Maybe I'm making that up. 
I'll show you where it read. Oh boy, hold on. I haven't pulled my gem tester out since I moved everything. It read right where onyx reads, right? The end of the glass and beginning, beginning of garnet tourmaline. That's where onyx reads. And that's where it read, you guys. That's where it read. Okay, we have a dot and dash chain with an elephant. It has a loose jump ring, it says. Oh, right here. Do you see it? Okay. All right. So it's a dot and dash chain elephant on it has one little loose jump ring. You might need to repair nine and a half inch drop. Let's go 18. Let's see if that's something we need to know about or just some like enamel, just some enamel. Okay. Whatever price I said, I think 18. Um, Oh, look at those. Those are pretty. Wait till you see these guys. Abalone beautifulness. Look at those. Abalone, abalone. My guess is they were marked Mexico at one point. Maybe not. I really think so, though. Okay, screwbacks. They look vintagey to me. Let's do 15 on those. Those are beautiful. That abalone is gorgeous in those. Gorgeous. I found some bracelets. Come here, bracelets. I think I did. Oh, I might be lying. Oh, for goodness sakes. Maybe this is. Let's see. Okay, I have, oh, this is wrecked. So this was pearls, but the, look at how gross my nails look. Ay -ay. Uh Pearls, um, but the luster is off most of them. You could peel them to look like that, and you'd have a little bit of acrylic. Um... Let's just do uh, $6 on that. Oh, sorry, I'll give you a length. My bad. Um, eek. <laughs> Having issues. Seven and a half inches, you guys. Okay? Did I give you a number yet? Yes, sorry. $6, I think I said. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, this is funny. I've got a funny, not funny, it's cute. I've got a Verme chain. Uh, it is marked Italy. And hey, it's marked 14K Italy. What are you doing in the Sterling 14K? It's marked 585. And I think four, 585 stands for 14K. It's really kind of fun. Look at this. It's like a little key here. And then... Um, you have like the lock is on the extender. You would use this part, the lock hangs down. This is a 10 and, oh, I wonder if it's a um, anklet. It's a 10 and a quarter to an 11 and a quarter, okay? I think this probably is gold, um, but we'll put it up here to test. Oh, you know what? I just shoved that necklace up here and I have bins now that are test, repair, research, look at later. <laughs> And I didn't even use them. Come on. Okay, there we go. Um, I know I have a couple more bracelets here. Let me see if I can get some. This is a little guy. Okay, so there's a little bracelet with three stations. That's so cute. This one is coming in at a seven. Okay, size seven, let's go $10 on that one. Guys, I scrubbed with a nail brush before I started this video and they look horrendous. I just hate natural nails, they're just gross. Just gross to me, they really are. Underneath, I mean. Uh, here we go, this is a cute little one. This one is a seven and a quarter. Let's do $10 on that one. Okay. Let's go back to some earrings. I always have more earrings than anything else in the sterling and the amber. Okay, here we go. These are cute. They're little, are they mother of pearl? I think so. I think they're little mother of pearl hook little dangle earrings. Let's go 15. I think the dogs are trying to con Jeff into feeding them early. I can hear them down there. <laughs> They'll probably win. This is not sterling. I don't know why it's in here. I don't think. 
No, I don't think this is sterling. Okay, I don't know why you're in there. Are you magnetic even? Yes. Oh my gosh, Julie. Really? Really? What did you do? At least I caught it, right? <laughs> when you start looking at a lot of jewelry, you start realizing what sterling is and what sterling isn't. Sometimes it still tricks you, but you start realizing. Okay, we have these guys. Those are pretty. Maybe like some adventuring? I'm not sure. And are those real pearls or faux? Let's see. Real, real pearl and maybe some adventuring. Um, not sure. How about $15 on those? Next. Earrings. We have some glass. Those are fun. Look at the blue glass. That's pretty with little hooks. Let's go 12 on those. Okay. What is this? Uh, these are marked CNRJ and CZC. Um, They're probably colored CZs and clear CZ. They're in a rose gold vermeil, 15. They remind me of those green ones we just looked at. It's like the same earring. Um, this looks awesome, and I think it would be an awesome midi. And I think I said that last time when I put it in the bag. Look at that. It's a little bypass ring. Right now it's coming in at a three and a half, so it is on the smaller side. Look at it. Isn't that cool? Awesome midi, cool pinky ring. Can't get it off. <laughs> All right, let's go 15 on that one. 15. Okay, next. What is this? What are you? We have a seven and three quarter ring. It's very pretty. Cool. I like this little setting here. Are those... Are those stones? Because if they are, they might be diamonds. Or are they metal? I think they're just metal. Hold on, let me look. They're metal, you guys. The little metal nubs that they make look like a stone. Hmm. Blue topaz, guys. And it's very dark. So that might be London blue topaz. I don't know if there's a way to tell that or if it's only specific things or if it's anything that's dark I don't know but here it is it's a seven and three quarter let's go 30 beautiful blue topaz gorgeous gorgeous we have some more hoops these have marcasites they are posts those are fun marcasites and then the little metal nubs those are pretty let's go um Let's go 15 on those. Holy cow, we're moving. What time is it? Wow. We've already looked at 48 pieces of jewelry, you guys. Holy guacamole. It's because I'm not gabbing. It's because I got nothing to gab about. Or it's because I'm tired from all that laundry. <laughs> all right. We have another Wicked Cheap Sterling. This one is a Rose Gold Vermeil High Brin. Rose Gold Vermeil Bracelet. Uh, there are extenders on here so why don't I tell you what sizes this can fit it can fit if I can open it there we go it can fit okay a six and an eighth a six and five eighths and a seven and an eighth okay let's do eight dollars on that one okay um, next, what's this? This looks interesting. Okay. Oh, look at it. It's the drama and drama masks. <laughs> I'm forgetting what it's called. Anyway, it's driving me nuts. This is a pretty chain. Look at that. You could definitely have, um, oh, you know what? My niece asked me for a charm bracelet. Do you guys care if I pull that one? Tragedy and comedy. There we go. I will make sure she gets that. She will be very happy. She has a little um, onyx charm that she used to wear around her neck, and she really wanted to put on a bracelet. So anyway, she'll be very happy. So thank you. 
Uh, what do we have here? I can't get it out of the bag. Here we have a little, oh, missing marcasite right there, but marcasite ring, one missing. What size are you, my darling? Coming in at seven and three quarter. I will do that for just $10 since it's got a boo-boo. A boo-boo. Uh, okay. Let me, this looks interesting right here. I want this. Come here. Okay. Earrings. They have horsies. Wait till you guys see. I think this probably was um, the sterling clay. I think somebody probably made these. Um, and the clay has the sterling silver right into it. And so you, and I'm saying that because of the thumbprints. Um, so you form your image, do whatever you want to do, and then you burn the clay off and you're left with the sterling. They're really cool though. Uh, 15. So is that what's called? Sterling silver clay? I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. I haven't looked at it in a long time. I thought I wanted to try it and then I never did. When I was doing a lot of clay. It's very expensive too. I can't get into this bag to save my life. Seriously? No, you're not going to beat me. I won. <laughs> okay, here we go. These are pretty. What is that stone? A little marcasite and that really pretty green stone. Um, these I saw a signature, I think. Yep, sterling. It's written out, so it's probably vintage. Uh, they're posts. Oops, fell off. Reading on the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite line. Okay, 15. Those are pretty. That was a good little pocket of earrings. Ooh, these are nice. I like these. I like mixed metal. You guys know that. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, these are signed. So it looks like they are sterling and brass. Pretty, okay. Um, and it has a K. And the sterling's written out. Um, so I think what I'll do is just for the heck of it, let's look at the Native American site. Um, Ameridian is what it's called. I'll get on there and then show you. I'm hitting the wrong buttons, folks. No, done, done, here, okay. Oh, for goodness sakes. You guys, I made this so it was easier. Oh, I have to go to favorites. Okay, now I'm okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Jewelry identification. Let's find the Native American, here we go. So this is the Ameridian, you can see it right there. Oh, for a second. Um, and you can go up to the top and do K. Can I do that through my camera? No. K. And there are lots of Ks, you guys. So um, you want to make sure it's exactly the same type of K. Hmm. Um, I'm not feeling confident in any of these. Maybe, so, wait, hold on. Does that say sterling below it? Yep, sterling. And this one. Oh, okay, so sterling in capitals or sterling printed? Sterling uh, in lowercase, I mean. Okay, so it is in lowercase. It's like this one, but I don't know. guys what do you think keith james navajo earrings so let's do this so after i'm not sure i will go and look that up on ebay keith james james earrings i'm gonna do sterling too sterling keith james navajo earrings keith james okay so look at this guys so this says 14K gold filled sterling silver. Now, why am I interested in those? Why? Because look, see that little stripey of uh, gold filled? And they're saying gold filled, so that might be gold filled. Um, let's look. 
So that's interesting, right? Our, ours kind of look, look like that, right? With a little stripe of gold filled with the um, engraving. Okay, so did they show his signature? No. Okay, so these are 109 for those. Let's look some more. Let's see this signature if they gave it to us. A K and Sterling. Well, that does look like ours, right? Okay, so I am, these were 32. So I am comfortable saying, I believe that these are Keith James. Is that what it was? <laughs> yes, I believe so. Keith James, and that might be a verme or gold filled stripe. And I'm going to ask $30, okay? So there we go. That's how I would have done that. So I thought I would show you. I can't get into this. There we go. We've got these guys. Did these have a name, this kind of earring? Because I feel like they were like the thing when I was younger. Whatever this is called. They're hollow. They're sterling, obviously. Let's go 15. 15. Um... Oh, these are fun. Look at these little post earrings, you guys. Those are fun, huh? They're little posts. No uh, backings. Can't tell if they're signed. Uh, let's go $12 on those. Okay, let's look at something different. I want to look at this. This looks interesting to me. What are you, my friend? Dun, dun. Here we go. Okay. It's cute. It's definitely um, got some rhodium plating on it because of how shiny it is, I think. <laughs> and it's reading on the quartz amethyst citrine line. So that's a citrine, you guys. Probably some CZs there. No. They're white topaz. Okay, so citrine and white topaz ring. Very pretty. It is a size seven. Let's go 30 on that one, okay? 30 bucks. I haven't had any chunky rings lately. Have you guys noticed that? Like, I'm like the chunky ring lady and I don't, haven't had any for a little bit. Oh, what's that? That looks interesting. What is this? This looks very interesting. I think it might be artisan made. Look at that, that's kind of fun. You have a little pearl and this bar, and it's on this really cool, like, peanut chain. This one has a seven inch drop, you guys. Let's go 20. That's really cool, I think that's neat. Uh, I've got a little heart coming at you. A little heart action. A little hollow heart cut out, there we go. It's on a box chain. This one has a nine inch drop. How about 20? $20. Brynn, you're just hanging out with mommy, you little cutie pie. This one is a Figaro, very pretty, um, no charm or anything on it, just the chain. And this one is an eight and a half inch drop. Um, sorry about that. Uh, this one is going to be 15. Next. Ooh, ooh, guys, what's this? Ooh. Sorry guys, I had my eye was bothering me. This is neat. So it's like that vintage filigree work and it has a little dingle dangle on the bottom. And it looks like somebody made a bale, like a twisted wire bale and it's on a box chain. This is very, very pretty. This is a nine and a half inch drop and I'll go 25 on it. That's really nice, you guys, oh, really nice. What's this? This looks interesting. I think it's a butterfly. Let's look together. Are you a flutter by? You are, and on a box chain, which is having a problem coming out of the bag. Here we go. That's pretty on a little box chain. J-W-B-R. Don't know what that is. I'm having an eye problem. It's bothering me. Sorry. 
eight and three quarter inch drop. Let's go 20. JWBR, JWBR, JWBR. If somebody knows, tell me. Tell me in the comments. Okay, we have, all right, I have some Wicked Cheap Sterling coming next. That's another Figaro. Huh. Okay, some Wicked Cheap Sterling coming up. I have a little pocket of it, so I'll show you a few. That one and that one. Okay, here we go. Rose Gold Vermeil. And it is a heart on a little chain. This one with the entire extender is a 20 inch total length. Oh, guys, I just found a blue rhinestone. What did that come out of? Hmm. Okay, let's put it right here. Okay, 20 inch total length. Let's go 10 bucks. And we have this one. Did you hear Bryn sigh? Because <sighs> she has such a hard life, you guys. Such a hard life. She works so hard for her money. <laughs> oh, boy. Did you know that song? She works hard for her money. You know that song? Do you know why they made that song? Because that band was on tour, and they went into a bathroom where there was a bathroom attendant, and she was asleep on her stool. So they made the song, she works hard for her money. I'm sure she was very tired and deserved a break. Dream, believe, achieve. Cool, okay. Uh, this is yellow gold vermeil. This one has a drop of eight and a quarter inches plus a little bit of an extender. Let's go 10 bucks on that one. $10. And we have this one. And this one is a white gold vermeil with CZs and a little star. That's so cute. Total length on this one is 16 inches. There's no extender. That one's going to be $8. Uh, next, we have this one. Is this Wicked Cheap Sterling? I don't know. We'll look at it. I'm not sure if it is. Um, it is a little, yeah, we can do Wicked Cheap. It is a little dangly heart. That's so cute. There's your Sterling stamp. That's so cute. This one has a drop of eight and a quarter inches. I can do that one for 10 bucks. Okay, I think I have two more Wicked Cheap. Oh, three. Three Wicked Cheaps coming up. Oh, I could do those too. Are those Sterling? I feel like those are not sterling silver. We're gonna test those. Um, everything in here should have already been tested, but every once in a while I find something that, you know, snuck in or I wanna check again. Um, please hold. What in the heck? We have a serious knot here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so rose gold vermeil and a faux pearl little bracelet. This one can be uh, a six, a six and a half, or a seven. Okay, let's go eight dollars. Uh, we can go seven dollars. Let's go seven dollars. Um, are these wicked cheap? Man, eh, we'll make them wicked cheap. What the heck? So we have this vermeil set of uh, earrings, and they have CZs. Super, super pretty. Let's do those for uh, ten bucks. Whoop, ten bucks. Next, all right, this is my last Wicked Cheap, unless I do that too. I'll do that one too. <laughs> all right, we have a little like squiggle line on a chain. That's cute. Uh, you have a drop of eight and a half inches. Let's do 10 bucks on that one. These would all be fun to layer with, wouldn't they? They totally would. That would be so fun. Do you want to see what it would look like? Let's do it, because I think it would be awesome. All right, so this is the most recent one. Okay. Dun -dun. Let's layer up some mixed metal. And we have the heart, which was right above it. I have to remember where these went. <laughs> Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Might need some extenders to make them different lengths and such. But look at This would be cute. And then how about this one? 
Really, it would have been nice to have a yellow gold in here, but you know, I'm working with what I got. Okay, okay. Here's another heart. Oh, that'd be fun. Layer three hearts. Look at. Oh, that's fun, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it up. Okay, hold on. Go in your spot. And then this one went there. I remember. I'm remembering. <laughs> this one went here, and this one went here. Okay. Uh, we'll do this one, Wicked Cheap Sterling, and then we will move on. How is that? To something different. Actually, I'm probably going to end soon. We'll finish this bin. Um, this one, it's probably a constellation. I'm just not sure which one. This one has a drop of eight inches. There it is. Let's do 10 bucks. All right, three more pieces, you guys. Three more pieces. I want to look at these pearl earrings. They look gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, look at those. So we have a coin pearl, and then I'm assuming those are real too. No. So the coin pearls are real and the bottom are faux, I believe. They're really pretty color. Let's go 15 on those. All right, two more. I want a showstopper. We need a showstopper, guys. A showstopper. Well, it's not really a showstopper, but this is a nice long chain, so let's look at it. I have a long Figaro. This one has an 11 and a half inch drop. You could get the other Figaro and layer those up. That would look really nice. Where is it? Is it right here? Yep. Look at it. They look really nice. Gorgeous. Um, where did I get that from? Right there. Okay, so 11 and a half inch drop, you guys. That one's going to be 20. And one more piece. One more piece. One more, you guys. What am I showing you? I need something good. I need something fantastic. Something amazing. Um, I'm striking out. I wanted something like wow zers. Like this is why we, I'm just gonna show you these. <laughs> They're pretty. Look at those. Faux pearl and marcasite little swirls. I've never seen a pair of earrings like them. They're awesome. Little posts. Let's do 15. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Tomorrow we're going to do some miscellaneous jewelry. Uh, same thing on Friday. And then um, what you need to know is you'll have the weekend. And then on Tuesday, sorry, I lied. On Monday, after the weekend, we will do Amber, okay? Bye.